All right, let's record on screen two today. Hey, how are you? Um, look at this. I'm running um, this thing called Parallels in my Mac where I can win Windows. Have you ever used it? It's super cool. I'm not a sponsor of them. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying it's super cool. I can run Windows and says in inside my, my Mac. I just got in from outside. I'm a little sweaty. Um, it's nice and hot here in, uh, in, in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's... Um, I live. <laughs> First of all, I have a a, a ten month old French bulldog. His name is Bentley. He's not the smartest dog. Uh, a lot of times, I just he looks at me and is is just blank. Like there's, I don't think there's anything going on uh, back there. And he and he just looks at me, and I'm like, I wonder, wonder what he's thinking. And it's, the answer is probably not a lot. <laughs> I love him to death, but again, I didn't buy him for his intelligence. Uh, I live close to a golf course here, and a lot of deer uh, deer run through there, and, and a lot of people around here feed the deer. You're not supposed to, but they do anyway. And, and so the deer are really pretty much domesticated uh, animals at this point. They will walk by you, and you can really take walks, and um, they don't care about you. Uh, and the same with dogs. Uh, and so Bentley, as he's indoctrinating into the world as a as a french bulldog uh it's not he's not an aggressive dog but you know a deer in the backyard is is a highly entertaining thing and and uh i open the i open the screen door here and and he just takes off after the deer just just i didn't even see the deer out there he just takes off after the deer deer doesn't even move literally just sits there and looks at this french bulldog and is like dude you're 20 pounds at most there's nothing you can do to me. Uh, and just sits there and proceeds to eat the bird seed from the bird feeder. So I think my I think Bentley's a little dejected right now. I think his powers of dog, of being a dog and barking and having people are scared didn't work today. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to comfort his, his ego. <laughs> uh, always something. Um, that's not what I was going to talk about today. What I'm going to talk about is the video I did yesterday. People are like, hey, how did you invite that Zoom room to a, a Microsoft Teams meeting? Well, that's a great question. And, and honestly, the answer is like you would invite any conferencing room to a Teams meeting. So obviously, you can see my Teams client here. I'm just going to go to a new meeting, right? And, and I'm going to type in the title of the meeting, Zoom meeting and Teams. Right, and I got to invite some people. I'll, I'll invite myself here. I can invite Adele, uh, you know, and uh, and, and Irvin, you know, all these people. I'm gonna invite into a meeting, and I want to book a Zoom room for my meeting. How do I do that? I literally just add the location of where the meeting's gonna be at. In my conferencing room, I'm gonna pick it out. Uh, I have been super some buildings in my in my tenant, and uh, one of those buildings is Building Two. And all the buildings in building two are listed as, as places to book, resources to book within the Active Directory. One of them is Conferencing Room Baker. I showed you this yesterday, how to join a meeting. I'm going to invite Conferencing Room Baker to the meeting. Calendar integration with the Zoom room is there because I can see that Conferencing Room is free. So I, I'm free at, cause from 1.30 to 2. So I'm going to invite that Conferencing Room into my meeting. And it's in. That's as complicated as it is. That's done. Like, that's it. So now if from a Teams client, I can join obviously this Teams meeting, but more importantly, as I walk to my conferencing room Baker, which is a Zoom room, which all your conferencing rooms should be Zoom rooms, right? I can walk in. I literally just see a one touch join experience. I just see right here that the, the uh, conferencing room Baker has accepted my invitation. I literally walk in, hit the one touch join experience from the Zoom room and launch into my Microsoft Teams meeting. That's, that's about as frictionless as you can get it. Next demo, I'll show the, the opposite, right? I'll invite a, a Teams room to a Zoom meeting. Guess what? It's almost exactly the same. <laughs> it's super simple.